So, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you might remember there's a particular video like your first bash script or your first shell script. And in that video, I kind of started to cover the basic principles of programming, let's say, and shell scripting, bash scripting, whatever you want to call it. Um, and some of those concepts were things like variables, um, a case statement, and you know, just executing commands, really. So just very simple. And what it covered as well was updating your system through a shell script. And this is kind of a common beginner's thing, a nice way to start because everybody updates their system. But what I don't see are like checks. And this is also a nice way to start showing you if statements in bash in shell and that's what we're going to do today but also include uh, on our update script we're going to actually rewrite our upgrade update script as a completely new script and it's going to be a quite a good thing i'm actually going to include it myself i'm going to use it myself so let's just sort of get into it so if you look at the screen this was sort of the old um, script i did before and it's just really asking you have you got your power cable power cable connected can't speak properly today i don't know why now that's really like um not a good safety it's not practicing good safety i think so what you really want is it to check if your power cable is connected and we're also going to have another check which is are you in the tty and i'll explain what some of the reasons why we're doing that and how it's done okay so let's go into the system here now i can't run this in my virtual machine because it doesn't seem to pick up if i'm running a power cable so whatever we're just going to put it on the actual testing machine the actual bare metal itself so i've created a script already just to um, test this out that it that i can do it that it works and we're going to rewrite it and it so therefore explain what it's doing as we go along hope that makes sense Right, so first of all, I'm going to make a new script. So we're going to use touch. No, actually, we're going to use Vim. You can use Nano, whatever you're running as your text editor. And we're going to call this new updates.sh. Uh, and uh, I'm going to just do hash bang or hash exclamation mark bin sh. You can do bin bash if you want, but this should run on all POSIX compliance shells, which is nice. And the first thing we want to look at is um, we want to create a subshell for our test. So if you look here, the syntax, um, it's if, and then we're testing if this isn't true or not, sorry, isn't greater than zero. And you'll see why in a second. So, and then it's cat, sys, etc i'll show you what that means so let's just right quit this well first of all i'm going to make this executable uh, there we go so as you can see that's now executable so what is sys class power supply ac online self-explanatory but it's just a really a file or a system file that's running um, on startup and while you're running i guess that just shows you if you are on power or not and obviously your Linux distribution will use this to check, I guess, if you're running, but we're gonna use it as well. So if I cat out the file, so sys uh, class power supply AC. Now your computer, your obviously this is for laptops. So if you're running a desktop, you probably won't need this, but so as you can see, I've cat it out and it's one, okay? Now if I, unplug and run this again it's zero okay so I'm gonna plug back in one so that tells you exactly what you need to know one is on so like true in binary I guess or booleans or whatever it is and zero is false okay so what are we doing then so we are if this isn't true which is this subshell here that the um, if the boolean or the uh, I don't know binary is less is greater than one, sorry, then do this. Okay, does that make sense? So let's go back in. 
new updater. So if this isn't true, okay, so cat sys class power supply AC online close the oh, even opened it open the bracket course uh, close the quotation greater than and then put then echo so this is what it's going to output okay so if this isn't uh, greater than zero running on battery plug plug in AC exiting okay so we'll show you what this means so can, I'll put an exit now anyway right so let's write that so right quit okay so uh, maybe I could maybe I could put um, if let's put if uh, else echo running on batch or on power okay let's do it like that right so this should work so forward slash okay so syntax error always remember to close out your if statement that should work now okay running on power right unplug oh no missing something not working what haven't I done oh yeah remember to space okay let's try again no not good it's not how you do it Not how you do it. So if what am I doing wrong? Uh, uh, uh. Else running on battery. If yeah, it should work. Should work. Okay. must not have done something right here sys class power supply ac online uh, uh, why did i do that so always remember put your um, dollar sign before the brackets because the brackets are part of the, the variable whatever okay Running on power. There we go. Running on battery. Fine. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. See, I don't edit out any of this stuff. This is real life. Real life. Okay. So now we we know. We know if this is plugged in, it will check and tell you. If it's not plugged in, it will tell you it's not plugged in. Does that make sense? Let's let's get a move on. You know how I go on this channel. We're just we're just getting through it. Okay, so I'm going to change this now to elif. Okay, so elif basically allows you to do another check. So we've done a check to see if you're plugged in and if you're not plugged in. And really, you should be plugged in if you are doing an update because if you do lose power, it's happened, it's happened to me, and it breaks your updates. You're going to have to go in, you know, in another situation using a USB with a Linux distribution and to root into your file system and run the apps. It's just a pain. It's just a pain. Don't do it. Just make sure you have a simple check. So now we're going to have a new check and we're going to check if the terminal equals the Linux console, the Linux terminal. Okay. And so same sort of syntax then um, we're going to take this out. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see if I want to keep that obviously so again if we just go back a second so if um, 
it's not running uh, battery, oh, sorry, if it's not running power and it's running battery, it will just exit. So it won't do this next check. So first you'd have to you'd have to plug in. We'll do run that test as well. Let's not go too far ahead. Okay. So um, so let's do another echo. So so if you're not in the Linux console, or the Linux uh, terminal on the TTY, it's going to say not in the TTY. Changing to TTY6 in five seconds. Run this script again from the TTY. OK. And then we're just going to sleep for five seconds so you can see that. And then it's going to, once it's giving you that warning and it's counting down five seconds, it's going to change the virtual terminal to six. So you need to use sudo vt chvt6 and then it's going to exit the script. Okay. So, right. And then, ooh, 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 do I need to run out so, syntax? Uh -huh. All right, remember to close that out. Okay, so and then uh, else running the in on AC. Okay, so now we've got to put in else and we're going to echo running on AC and in the TTY running updates. Okay, and then it's going to run sudo pacman. Now, obviously, if you're running a different system, whatever it is, put in whatever you're updating. And also, I'll put in yay sua. So this will just update the yay packages. Okay, and then we're just going to exit. Okay, so pretty simple, pretty simple. So we're going to run through this. We're going to go through each step, and hopefully, hopefully, it's all going to work. Right. So first of all. Let's unplug. Running on battery, plug in AC. Okay, good. So it's it's exited. Now I'm plugged in. Not in the TTY, changing to the TTY. So we know we're running battery. Now it's going to change to the TTY. Proving it to you. I'm now in the TTY. Okay. So I'm going to log into my TTY. Oop, no. The wrong one because I'm not in my virtual machine. Okay. Right, then I'm going to go into scripts and I'm going to run this again. So new updater. So as you can as you can see, it's now running. You won't be able to see because I've obviously recording X11, but it's running the updater. Okay. Can't see that, but it's it's running. Trust me, trust me, it's running. Okay, so there you go, perfect. So I can go back into, so let's go um, back into, back into here. So that's it, a nice, safe um, way to update. Take the option away from you just to make it mandatory. Now, why, why do this? So as I've explained earlier, we want to update when the power is in. OK, when you're running on power, not on battery, for the obvious reasons, like I've explained, if you run out of power and it breaks uh, your updates, that's just annoying. Just annoying. Not the literal end of the world, just annoying. And, um, well, if it's, you probably would have to, it'd probably be fine for certain updates, maybe, but obviously if you're installing the Linux kernel, then you're not going to be able to boot into Linux or maybe if it's Grub, I don't know. And then secondly, and don't take my word for it, I've mentioned this before, DistroTube himself updates now in the TTY because he had problems updating the graphical environment. X crashed on him, X11, whatever. So now you cannot update unless you're in the TTY. That's just fantastic. So in that video, I've created a nice little script for you and for me to make sure you update safely and if you're new to Linux, new to scripting, new to programming, you now know how to do an if statement. We kind of just went through it and just gave a real example. We didn't mess around. So I think that's a good way to explain how an if statement works. And you, of course, if you're running in SH, um, 
you can do tests or if statements a certain other way but if you're using like elif and and you've got lots of or statements so uh, I'm not necessarily going to go into it but so if or which is else and you've got other ors and whatever you you basically it's a bit of a pain in bin s in, in shell in sh but in bash it's you you just do if with elif so um or oh, sorry in shell you can do if and elif but um in shell it's just kind of nicer nicer way to do um like a what is it so you do so I, I could do this equals this okay and then if that's true do then this or this however what you what it doesn't really like is another this or this basically if you put in lots of you know uh, else uh, or and it's it's just it doesn't play nicely there's ways around it there's ways around it but i mean just in this case you really need to do if elif else okay or if else 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 if else whatever i'm prowling on now but uh, just play around you'll learn this stuff learn how it all works um so i hope that's useful to you whether you're an experienced or a not an experienced linux user that's good practice run a script like that you don't have to do it exactly like that you do you you do what works for you but um i think that's a good good thing to do anyway so you know what to do with your fake youtube and uh, you can like you can comment and you can subscribe maybe you've got a different way to do it you can put it in the comments of course tell me i'm wrong and uh, we'll leave it there